I want to ask you um, your thoughts on the current environment, though. I mean, it seems like we made a lot of progress in a lot of ways in America, but lately things have not been progressing, I think some people would argue. Obviously, we have a very divisive society right now. Politics in Georgia have been fraught. And so what is your assessment? Well, this is going to seem arrogant of me. Forgive me. But it is intelligence versus ignorance. Now, I hope this doesn't sound as bad as it does. But change is inevitable. Um, my office downtown is full of globes, and they're all spinning. And it, it, it reminds me that nothing keeps still in this universe. Nothing. The hundred million cells in your body are constantly in motion, see? And we have people who don't understand that, that, that progress motion is inevitable. And you cannot stop it. You can't stop the world from spinning. See? And the more it spins and the more the uh, genes and cells in our bodies uh, multiply, uh, the more confusion you're going to have. I mean, and it happens, well, what, what was it? 14th century uh, plague mm -hmm. um, in the, right after the First World War. I mean, between the First and Second World War, we had a flu epidemic. And I, did, I was not born yet, but my mother had three sisters that died in that. Uh, and um, I grew up around here when Franklin Roosevelt was coming to Florida, I mean to, to uh, Warm Springs because of his polio and uh, the first thing I did in Georgia was work on a polio campaign to, to buy black lungs for people who were suffering from polio and uh, it, it but then we found a vaccine, and Jonas Salk, and uh, we, we evolved, and, and I actually took part in a campaign with uh, Ted Turner uh, and Rotary and uh, folk that I think we, they recruited me because the last place that they had not wiped out polio was in the north of Nigeria. And I had a lot of friends in Nigeria, had a lot of classmates from Nigerian college. And mm -hmm. I, I went there with Carter and with Ted Turner, uh, encouraging people to be vaccinated. And so and we wiped out polio. It looks like it's sneaking back now. Right. I, uh, I, yeah. But the, the, the earth is a constant volatile in motion right. operation. And it's not gonna stay the same. But we have the authority, and I'm a preacher, and I think of it as a God-given authority, that God has given us dominion over the earth. And we are to protect it and preserve it. And, and so when things like global warming come, um, it's taken us a long time, uh, but Joe Biden got a bill passed <laughs> last night. <laughs> right, See? right. Um, but um, we've been moving in this direction for a long time. Right. Uh, now, that's coming back to Atlanta. That's what makes Atlanta work. That Atlanta decided and I give Coca-Cola a lot of credit mm -hmm. uh, for this, that uh, they decided they were gonna be a city too busy to hate. Right. And it was probably, big, well, before that, 
Mr. Woodruff decided that anywhere in the world that our troops went in World War II, right. they should be able to have a Coca-Cola. <laughs> well, whether it was patriotic or business, it was damn good on both counts. <laughs> right, right, right. See? Uh, and um, it, it, has, it has kept us being rather progressive in our thinking. Right, right. Knowing that nothing stands still.